Professor Dave and Chegg here. We've discussed a variety of ways that we can prepare alcohols, but what is it that we can do with alcohols once we have them? Let's go over a brief survey of the reactions alcohols can undergo. First, alcohols can be converted into alkyl halides. This can happen a few different ways. If it's a tertiary alcohol, treating with HCl or HBr will protonate the hydroxyl, causing water to leave, and then the resulting halide ion can coordinate to the carbocation intermediate, generating the tertiary alkyl halide. Primary and secondary alkyl halides are more easily converted by using reagents like PBr3 or SOCl2, which will replace the hydroxyl with a bromo or chloro group respectively, with inversion of stereochemistry via SN2 reaction. Alcohols can be converted into tosylates by reacting with tosyl chloride. The purpose of this is to turn the hydroxyl into a good leaving group, as the carbon bearing this group is now susceptible to nucleophilic attack. This is useful if we want substitution to occur with only one inversion of stereochemistry as opposed to two, if preparing the alkyl halide on the way to some other final product. Next we have dehydration. This is typically done with acid catalyst and qualifies as an elimination reaction, meaning an alkene will be the product. The mechanism can vary. Either the hydroxyl is protonated and then a proton is abstracted by water to form the pi bond and kick off the water moiety, or water leaves first to produce a carbocation intermediate after which the pi bond forms. We must always keep in mind the potential for Zaitsev and Hoffman products, where the more substituted Zaitsev product is preferred thermodynamically, whereas bulky bases will promote the less substituted Hoffman product under kinetic control. Next, alcohols can react with carboxylic acids to form esters. This can be done in a single step using strong acid and heat, where something like methanol can coordinate to the carbonyl carbon, kicking off the hydroxyl and then deprotonating to give the methyl ester. A softer approach involves reacting with SOCl2 to give the acyl chloride. The enhanced reactivity of the acyl chloride over the carboxylic acid allows for reaction with methanol under milder conditions to give the ester by the same mechanism. There is a lot more we can do with alcohols, but that covers some of the most basic and ubiquitous applications. Professor Dave for Chegg, see you next time.